time keeps on slipping, slipping into the future as we get one day closer to Jesus' second coming. Top of the morning to you and happy Resurrection Day. When we read Psalm 87 with the eyes of love and a determination to know our God better, we learn just how important the city of Jerusalem is to God. The psalmist describes the city as one established on holy hills, and it was founded by God. Verse 2 says, God loves the gates of Zion more than all the dwellings of Jacob. Verse 3 calls Jerusalem the city of God. Many significant biblical events happened in or near this city. David built the temple here, a place where God and man could meet on a regular basis. Jesus was born near this city in Bethlehem. He was crucified in Jerusalem and was resurrected in that city as well. This city of peace has been destroyed two times, besieged 23 times, attacked 52 times, captured and recaptured 44 times. Jeremiah 30:17 described Jerusalem as a place no man cared for, yet God did great things for her. This is also where Abraham nearly sacrificed his son, and the first and second temples were built here as well. This city is just another example of what man thought unimportant and of no value. God chose it to be the most important location on earth, sort of a hub of faith activities. Zechariah 14, 3-4 says, Jesus will return to the mount called Olivet, which is a Sabbath day journey, Acts 1, 9-12, from Jerusalem. God's word in Psalm 122, 6 tells us to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper that love thee. This is sort of the other half of the fear of the Lord package that we get when we hate what He hates and love what God loves. Word of encouragement as we celebrate the almost, well, the 1989th anniversary of Jesus' resurrection from the dead if He died at age 33. uh, Let's also appreciate the significance of where the Holy Week activities occurred. Then look forward to Jesus' second coming at the exact location He left. Then get ready for the grand finale described in Revelation 21 too, where the new Jerusalem will come down from heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. We have a lot to be thankful for this Resurrection Sunday, and a lot to look forward to. As the song says, time keeps on slipping, slipping into the future. That's from the Steve Miller Band. Have a great day.